everyone, I have a bit of a haul crossed with a vlog. So the first part of this video, I'm gonna, um, I actually went out to have a cosmetic procedure and also to um, get some microblading on my eyebrows. And I thought, oh, I'll show you, take you along with. And then the second part, I'm gonna do a um, unboxing of Chanel and Dior, plus as well a mail time. So I hope that you enjoy watching. So I'm gonna go today to get a facial and before I do I know you're really close and I'm like there's some people in front of me that are like what are you doing? <laughs> um, yeah, I've just come to get a quick coffee before I go for a facial. It's such a lovely day in London Honestly, the weather has suddenly picked up throughout uh, September and it kind of feels like June again, which is really nice but I'm here in Marylebone and It's calm it's sunny, it's mild. And I've just got an Americano with oat milk. I really like oat milk. I don't know, I don't have a problem with milk. I do drink milk, but I find that oat milk in a coffee just tastes better. Does anyone think that? I just think it tastes better. kind of early. I'm in such a good mood today. I really think the weather helps. Um, anyway, so I have come back to um, the lady that I go to for micro blading eyebrows and she, I think she does like loads of things but um, before lockdown I used to get regular facials and but the facials that I was getting were kind of um, cosmetic grade. So um, they weren't just kind of like, um, you know, like rubbing some cream into your face. They were kind of using products that might include laser or what's that one where they use like loads of needles? Dermarola and other things such as like chemical peels and stuff. And I just, I always found that for me personally, those sorts of treatments really deliver results. When lockdown happened, that all stopped. And I noticed probably two months in, that I think I said to you guys in a video, it's like my skin is really dry and kind of dehydrated and it didn't matter what I was putting on it, nothing was really cutting it. And it's like it again today, it feels horrible. It feels really grainy even though I've exfoliated a couple of days ago anyway. Um, so I've come back today because I want to get my eyebrows touched up because they um, they kind of need it. And also, um, so when I say that, I mean they I want them they fade after a while. So I've had them microbladed on, but I just want them redrawn in. She normally lets me film, so I'll film bits and pieces. And today I am using for the first time in a long time my uh, bag that David got me for Christmas. And what's really helped with it is that I have, um, how many of you remember, but if I stop and show you, I got shoes to match it. Before I got the shoes, made it quite difficult to work the bag in with different outfits. It kind of needed something else and the shoes made it easier. Anyway, I haven't worn the shoes before. They're kind of pinching a bit today, I won't lie walking around and my feet are starting to rub. I do think the lower heel in these Dior heels are the best one to go for. You can, the ones that I already have, the dark blue ones, I have worn in and I can, I can do eight hours a day in those walking around and they're, they're really good. But yeah, when you first get them, you've got to soften up the leather. Okay, here we go. Now, if I remember, am I in the right place? I think it's number 90. I'm in and I'm a bit early. So I'm just gonna wait until um, my, my turn. But, should I just sit down? This is Natasha. Hi. Um, and I've, I was just saying that I've come along today 
to do eyebrows and then uh, the PRX tightening thing. Yeah. And um, the PRX thing, I'm hoping, I was saying to Natasha, can we do half the face because I wanna show you the lifting effect because it's quite quick, isn't it? Very immediate. And it lasts. Yeah. Um, so yeah, we're gonna do that then eyebrows because I feel like the, the colors just lighten slightly and I wanna kind of lower the arch a bit. And just to be clear, these treatments, I pay for them. Do I not? You do, absolutely. I do, so <laughs> it's not like an advert and um, yeah, I've been coming to you for a long time and you're just good. Yeah. I came to you originally for eyebrows, didn't I? You did. And I was yeah. scared and they didn't hurt <laughs> and I kept coming back. So we're gonna do the PRX. It's not peel, is it? It's, it's, uh, it's a biorevitalizer, similar to the Philo, what the Philo mm. does, but it is um, actually a TCA peel. Okay. Uh, they've added in hydrogen so that you um, you don't peel. Okay. So normally with this strength, your skin would come off, mm. uh, and you have a horrible wound. So um, mm. because of this, it bypasses the epidermis. Okay. And just that you don't have any of that horrible peeling side mm. effect. I found it really good for pores as well. Like it's great for really texture. Them. Yeah. Great for texture. Great for acne scars. Yeah, acne scarring. Great for just tightening mm -hmm. lower third and yep. sort of forehead wrinkles. It's a double cleanse. And then I'm going to degrease you. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay, this is great for all skin types unless you have active acne. Uh, we just need to wait for that to calm down. Okay. But otherwise, it's safe. It doesn't make you photosensitive, which is a great boost. So because you can a lot do of it. these things, yeah, you can't kind of go outside or you've yeah. got to wear like heavy SPF. Right, so most peels for sure are not great for the summer, but this you can do all year round. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, we'll do um, this side first. So I'll just do this side of the forehead, mm -hmm. one side, and then we'll have a look. So it's quite a simple application. It just gets rubbed in with about a pound and a half of pressure. And it goes a bit red yep. and about tingly. A, yeah, it's like a sort of five out of 10 on the tingles. And this is the application for lifting. If we're doing uh, scarring uh, or stretch marks, we'll take this using a spatula into the, into the actual um, scars. actually see this side slightly lifted. Mm. It will lift, for sure. That is now done. You're done? We're You're doing done eyebrows. Done. Yes, we'll be doing your eyebrows next. Let, shall I try and show you pores? I think your pores look much smoother here. So you'll be a little bit red, that'll, that'll be gone by the time you leave here after your brows. For anyone interested in microblading on the eyebrows, I thought I'd just quickly show you what the process is. So um, this is um, anaesthetic. When when the eyebrows are being done, it doesn't actually hurt, I must say. Um, I tend to fall asleep in it. Price-wise, it's £319 initially to get them done in the first place. It's then £248 thereafter to get them, um, what's the word, infilled. And Natasha mixes up your colour for you on your first visit and then she writes down what your colour is so whenever you go for infills she already knows um, what your shade is. As you can see here she just really roughly draws them back in again because they do fade after a while and then using your custom colour she uses this blade, now it sounds really gruesome, it's a blade that has three sharp prongs on it and she really gently drags this across the skin and it kind of grazes the skin slightly and makes creates the look of individual hair strokes. When she's done this, she covers the entire eyebrow with your custom colour, works on the other eyebrow and she does two passes so each eyebrow gets this done to them twice before you get your result. Good, 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 good. And I like that they're straighter. I know you do. Thank you. <laughs> but yeah, they look really, really good. Oh, you're really welcome. Look at that. Let me show you. Look 
the detail. So I want you to apply this three times a day. Okay. And wash your brows in the morning with something very gentle like a baby wash. Yeah. Just to stop the aftercare building up. Okay. And there's a bunch of do's and don'ts. The days of not getting them wet and don't yeah. <laughs> your lovely headband. The days, <laughs> not, the days of not getting them wet mm -hmm. are, are long, long gone. So okay. you're not going to wash the pigment out. Yeah. Just don't have a shower for 30 minutes with it smashing them. Yeah. Place. Okay. So um, for the PRX that I have, that is 330 for one. But if you if you have more lined skin then you do three and for the three you get these two included and i think you said that for a course of three it yeah, is it's 770 for three 770 for three yes and i only ever do the one off which is yeah. like 300 yeah. so yeah so 330 for one and one or two for you would be perfect yeah if you have more um, more sagging on the jawline yes um, especially lower third or very yeah. skin, you'll probably need a couple more. Okay. So that was my day out. I hope you enjoyed joining me. I'm now going to move on to the haul and the mail time. And just to say, in this bit, I've just edited it, I'm completely incoherent and I look terrible. I, my insomnia is back and I've I'm four days without sleep, so I feel a bit of a wreck at the moment, but hopefully you'll still enjoy this bit. Hey everyone, I hope you enjoyed that. I went out earlier this week and I thought I might as well show you and I just wanna show you um, the aftermath. So for any of you thinking about doing this treatment, um, it wasn't terrible, it was quite annoying, but I already knew about it. So when you get your eyebrows microbladed, expect peeling, <laughs> which looks like this. Your eyebrows feel really crispy. They still do a bit now. It's been probably four days. So it doesn't take, it doesn't take long, but they do feel quite crispy. And the way I would explain the skin peel, it looks a bit like the rubbings that you get when you use an eraser. And every time I tried to put on foundation, it would just pill it would just ball up my own skin every time i tried to rub the foundation in i was even trying to pat it on with um uh like a beauty blender at one point but it was just sticking to everything that was trying to fall off my face and it felt really i just felt like i didn't want to wear makeup so for the days that i after i had it done i just didn't wear any um the other thing i was going to show you is i'm going to do uh, a haul I have someone's business card. Okay, so I've got an item from Chanel and also an item from Dior. Um, and then after that, we're gonna do a mail time because I've had quite a few of you write to me. So the item from Chanel, if you wanted to see what was in the store on the day that I went and got these, then check out the vlog that I'm gonna link to below. That vlog is not old at all, it's probably a week or a week and a half and if you want to see more then go and watch that there were not many bags in chanel when i went in and in fact whenever i've been into chanel recently there hasn't really been anything in there that's very new and the same thing goes for dior and i don't know whether this covid situation has had an impact on stock but the stuff in the stores it all feels quite um you go in and you're like, yeah, I've seen that before. It's kind of been here for a few months and then I'm not really noticing much new coming through. I mean, it is coming through, but it's kind of nothing that's amazing. I did go and buy a pair of these trainers and I went in there to replace a pair of Chanel trainers that I've got that I bought in 2017 and I've walked everywhere in them. And when I say everywhere, it's like walking on two clouds, those trainers. They really are the kind of shoe that you can just wear all day. They still, they look, they just look tired, I think. They look quite scruffy. So I went in there to get another pair and they didn't have any in that style that I liked, but they did have these. And some of you sent me pictures because do you remember there was the, the version that came in beige, which I really wanted. They didn't end up, they didn't actually have those in stock. They didn't have many in stock, many colour options, but these are blue velvet and I, I really like them. Let me actually check how much they are. Do you know, earlier today I banged my funny bone and it really hurts. 
and David laughed, which is probably why it's called Funny Bone, because it's funny for everyone except the person that hit it. How much is this? 770 these were. The second item is in here. Same thing in Dior, really. I went in there and I tried on some jumpers. One in particular I am going to get, but they didn't have my size, so I'm kind of waiting for that. There was no new bags. There was nothing in there that I hadn't already seen before and that was you know the kind of thing where you look at it and you're like wow that's actually interested me i want to have another look at it it's kind of all stuff that i'd seen before we have two dust bags with gold writing and lee who works in there said to me have you seen these new boots and when he brought them out i was like i don't like them and then i tried them on i was like oh i think i do like them and they're not me, but they are me. And it's these. So I laced them all the way up. And you would think that because of the height of it, that it would, you know, sometimes a boot like this can cut you at the wrong point on the leg and it can give the illusion that your leg is shorter and stubbier than it actually is. Whereas, you know, when you wear a heel and it's kind of low at the front, it makes your leg look longer. Tried this on and I kind of didn't feel that it did it. Um, some of you might look at this and go, yeah, it does. <laughs> but when I tried it on, I didn't really feel like it did it. And I'm trying to get a bit more into skirts and dresses this season. I've always been a trouser kind of person, but um, I'm trying to just find skirts and dresses that I like. And the main reason why I don't wear them is because I'm quite tall. And every time I buy a skirt or a dress, it's so short that... You know, if you sit down, it's it's really, really rides up on the side. And I just don't feel comfortable like that, but I would like to wear them. Um, and I just thought this is the kind of thing that I feel I could wear with a skirt. Mail time. I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven letters from you. I actually have some more, but the other letters that you've written, some of you have said that you don't want your letters written out, which is absolutely fine. If you're thinking of writing to me, but you're camera shy or you just want to talk about something personal then just write on your letter or on the envelope that you don't want it read out and i can do that for anyone who's watching and you're new and you're thinking what is this <laughs> mail time it has become a thing and it's essentially where you guys write to me and i read out your mail so the first has come from portugal look at this really pretty letter here and it's got something in it that i'm going to show you which is really nice oh can i show this picture i think i can this is from did i say portugal it is from katia katia has included in the letter the sweetest chain look at this and katia i know what this is and look i'm wearing the earrings to match it so this is um in Portugal, I think I've got this right, I think this style is called filigree, where it's kind of gold inter interwoven, um, delicate, but this shape is, um, is quite well known. And I think you're going to tell me what it is. You are saying it's a symbol of Portugal, the heart of Viana, and you said it's a gift and that is so sweet. I love it. And I really like that it's got this tiny red tassel on the side. That's really nice. And as I say, it matches the earrings. I saw this earlier and I thought, I'm going to put the earrings on in this video just for you. Dear Sophie, I hope everything is well with you and your family. I'm writing to you because I feel like you're one of the few people who actually takes the time to read letters. There's so many YouTubers I like, but sometimes it feels like we just live in two different worlds. But you actually try to get to know us and get closer and I really appreciate it. That's because I all, I really like all of you and there's so many of you that write to me on the regular now and it's bizarre because I feel like I know you. This year has been very complicated. I'm getting married in October and we had to change many things to cancel our honeymoon. Your fiance was very sick and was in hospital for two weeks and we couldn't see each other. Oh God, that was tough. We had plans for him to go back to uni, but we had to postpone it until next year, all while still working, which is good, but very exhausting. I work at the airport, at the check-in and boarding gates. 
COVID has greatly changed things and we're constantly needing to keep up with everything and it's usually more physically draining because I guess there's so much extra that you will need to do now pretty much in every job uh, different kind of rules and stuff like that the best moments were and still are when I finally get into bed with my tea and I watch your videos you're so down to earth and intelligent David will disagree with that I also love your videos about your life progress with David I've watched with my fiance. We both find you inspirational. That's very kind. We are giving our first steps and growing together like you and David, and we really just look up to you guys. I hope that we get to meet you someday. And if you ever find yourself in uh, Porto in Portugal, when everything gets better, I would love to take you and David out for an afternoon of some Porto wine and custard tarts. Oh my God, Portuguese custard tarts. You have no clue. They are my favourite dessert. And do you know where I first came to hear of them and try them? In Nando's. I was in Nando's and they were on the counter and I was like, what are they? And they were like, oh, Portuguese custard tarts. I, I've never looked back. I'm obsessed with them. Katia, that is the nicest letter. And I think I can show it. Katia, can I? I you're not here to say, but I, I'm assuming I can. This is Katia and her boyfriend or fiance. Katia, you are now famous. I don't want to be depressing, but, um, and I'm not, I'm not going to be alone with this. I'm finding, I'm finding this time, it's starting to get to me now, actually. At the beginning, I was like, this is awful. It's like the worst thing that we've all ever lived through, lockdown and stuff. I just feel like it's getting to a point where I'm kind of feeling like, this is miserable. Anyone else feeling the same? And that's why when you write to me and you're all around the world and you're all going through COVID as well, because I think this thing with, with the pandemic is that particularly when you're on a lockdown, you feel really isolated and you feel, it's easy to feel like the only person it's influencing or affecting is you. Not because you, obviously you know it's affecting other people, but because you're at home and you can't go and see the people that you love and you're talking on the phone but you kind of don't have that closeness it feels really isolating and that's why I love it when you write to me and I know that we're all in it together and not only that but I think that when you all write hopefully all of you hearing each other's stories about how you're getting through it and how it's affecting you will help as well the next card is from Brooklyn in New York look at this lovely card and this is from well, you've put your name on the envelope, but you haven't written it in the card. You've written K. Um, and I actually have one of you that I'm going to read out in a moment who has said that you want the letter read out, but not your name. And I'm just not going to read it, just in case, just in case. Dear Sophie, I hope you're doing well. I found your YouTube channel recently and I'm so happy I did. Thank you for all the videos you make. They've really cheered me up during a very rough time. I started my dream job in March, right before COVID hit NYC. And before I knew it, I'm out of a job. Oh God. I was even planning on investing in my first luxury handbag, but we'll have to wait on that. For now, I just keep enjoying your videos. I'm an adult, but I want to be you when I grow up. You deserve all the bags, shoes, success and happiness in the world. All the best. What a lovely letter. Oh, do you know something? Isn't this just a horrible uh, situation? And I'm so sorry. For, I feel so sorry for you in losing your job. Just when you you get something good and you think this is it, it just turns to to rubbish. This card is from Manchester in the UK, and it has Hello Kitty on the back, who is my favourite. You have said, P.S. I wouldn't mind if you read this on YouTube, but please don't say my name. That is fine. Dear Sophie. I hope you were doing well. I just wanted to say that I'm a huge fan of your channel. I love your videos, especially your shopping vlogs with David. <laughs> he is so entertaining and I love the things that he has to say about the handbags. So do I actually. It's, it's unusual to know a guy who can be objective about them. You say that you work as a doctor and your job can be stressful at times. 
the camera cut off at this point and I, I didn't realise for a while. So um, essentially the lady who would wrote to me in this letter was asking about the Chanel trainers, the, these ones that I've got and how I keep them so clean. So I'm just kind of going to go into detail. Those uh, Chanel trainers, I'm going to show you them. They are very scruffy to say the least. The reason why they look clean on the white bits is because the white bits aren't fabric. They are like a patent leather, so they, they keep clean quite easily. I am thinking of giving them a freshen up though, because I haven't actually ever done that because I wear them all the time. But I'm thinking of taking the laces off, putting new laces on it, and then actually cleaning them up properly. Uh, this next letter is from New Zealand. And it's got a very nice card with it, which is this. I really like these mail times. I know that they're probably a bit random and I don't know how many of you stick around for them, but I enjoy them. This is from Michelle. You have said, dear Sophie, I am grabbing my courage and writing to you. I've just watched your Bista Village video and it's my big chance to thank you dearly for all your wonderful videos that you create. But I have to mention in particular also your recent one to Harrods. In that one, I was shopping alongside behind you. What? I should explain. I'm so, I'm confused. Okay, so you said, this September, my husband and I were due to set off and have our big overseas trip to Europe. A much safe for and looked forward to trip. And you were gonna do that after your youngest is finally out of high school and into university. But then along came COVID. So you see, you are my closest. I shall get to the shop in London for a long time. I should think our borders will remain shut for some time. I will be your New Zealand friend quietly on your shoulder, shopping with you. Oh, I see what you mean. May I tell you in these times of lockdown, your videos become a little treat to look forward to. I hope you have little treats to help you along too. Oh, and I also rewatched your Singapore videos as we have had three, uh, you had a three day stopover on your way home. And I was gonna go to some of the shops that you went to. Kindest wishes from Michelle. What a nice letter, Michelle. You know how you said that you liked the videos because they're kind of an escape from COVID. Um, I really appreciate that because I think the videos are really boring, but I've said that before, but thank you. And since COVID, I think I said this back in March, but I am more thankful now than ever for my YouTube channel because this year has been tough and being able to come on here and chat to you all has been the nicest thing i tell you what through that lockdown back in march you all got me through it because though it was so dark so depressing nowhere to go couldn't see friends couldn't see family and to be able to come on here and talk to you and get that feedback back you know in the comments or when you were writing to me it felt less alone and it felt like something extra to do I'm someone who I'm like I'd really like to fill my day with as much to do as possible um just to keep my mind occupied and doing the videos uh because I had more time on my hands as well. It just was something really nice to fill my time with and I really enjoyed it. So the fact that you like the videos, I'm really, really pleased about. And likewise, I've enjoyed doing them and interacting with all of you. I have two more letters. First of all, this one, and you said I can read it out. Before I do, this is from Georgia and I'm hoping that I can show you this. I think I should be able to, but look, look at her handwriting. How perfect is that handwriting? I do not know how you've done that. I start writing and then my handwriting steadily gets worse and worse as my hand gets tired. Dear Sophie, I hope you and your lovely family are well. Wow, I've been watching your channel since 2017. I remember finding it during the su summer holidays after my GCSEs when I was feeling quite lost and unsure about how to achieve the goals I'd set for myself. Seeing how hardworking and motivated you are inspired, inspired me beyond belief and the life that you have built yourself encouraged me to envis envisage the lifestyle that I wanted and your videos have pr provided me with the most amazing tips on how to get there. As it did for many, lockdown has turned my world upside down. 
just as I was settling into university life. However, it provided me with the opportunity to spend time with my lovely family, including lots of celebrations when we were told that my mum was in remission from cancer. That is fantastic. Oh my God, I bet nothing beats that. Nothing could possibly beat that feeling of getting that news. I'm now going into the second year of my law degree and I'm loving every second, even more so, when I have a break from uni work and get to watch your videos. I'm honoured that any of you would watch the videos. When you all write to me and you're all around the world and you're all at different stages of your life, um, like some are in university, some of you are working, some of you have retired and you're living the dream, when I hear from you all, it's so, it just feels amazing. I actually, you know, going to what you were saying about university, I really feel so bad for any of you right now who are going through university because university is was one of the best times of my life and you've got that social thing. I mean, let's be honest, the social thing is like a large part of it in addition to the learning and to not have that and not to have that experience would be um, a little bit kind of cheated actually and it's a real shame and I really feel for anyone going through that right now um, particularly when you're spending that money and you know if you've paid your rent up front for your halls of accommodation or your house that you've moved to in second third fourth year if you've already paid that and you can't live there it must be I would be really frustrated you have also said that you adore the fashion videos and you have used them to help guide my first luxury purchases I've treated myself to um, my achievements and I'm looking forward to being able to reflect those in the items that I buy in the future and the memories associated with them. I love hearing about the memories which are tied to some of the, your designer items that you've bought. I wanted to thank you for creating such a genuine, caring, educational and inspirational corner of the internet. Lots of love, Georgia. What a lovely, lovely letter. Thank you so much, Georgia. This is from Lucy. I think Lucy's in the UK. Yeah, you're in the UK. Dear Sophie, I hope this letter finds you and David well. I'm a long-term subscriber. I was here during the coloured hair street days. I remember that. There was like purpley bits, green bits. They were like clipping hair extensions. Wow, when was that? 2014 I think. That is a long time. I thank you because that is dedication. You say that you've finally become brave enough to write. Anyone who's feeling that way, don't you worry. Just if you want to write, you write. There's, don't feel um, embarrassed or anything like that. There's no pressure. I'm a normal person. I, you know, there's no stress here. I just wanted to communicate to you how enjoyable and inspiring I find your social media content. We have wildly different economic and family circumstances, but I feel a kinship with you as a British woman in her 30s, finding her way in, a, in challenging times. Your videos have encouraged me to go back to education, starting a second degree, this time through Open University. I'm working towards a huge career change, hopefully leaving retail for criminal justice. Oh my God, that sounds amazing. And youth offender teams in a few years. That, that, I like anything to do with that criminal stuff. I know that doesn't sound, um, I know you're obviously into it a lot more, but I just find that fascinating. I was also happy to see this stunning Fendi spy bag in your pre-loved uh, video. This was the bag I lost it over at university and like a first love, I've never really gotten over it. That's how I felt about it. I love that bag. Thank you again, very best wishes from Sunny Devon to you, David and the Bunnies. Lots of love, Lucy. Thank you so much, Lucy, for writing and thank you for watching for so many years. I really, really appreciate that. I keep saying I appreciate that, but I do. The last letter is from the lovely Karen in the US. Ooh, this is such a nice card. Look, Tinkerbell. Dear Sophie, I was so excited to get your letter in the mail last week. Thank you very much. After hearing about your Tinkerbell bracelet, so I, I think I spoke about that in a couple of videos ago, long story. You had one of your girlfriends custom design this card for me. Thank you so much. My travel plans have been on hold since my Turkey trip and Phoenix trip back in January and March. 
and you had a week in hospital as well now i remember this so anyone who watched that last video karen got sick part way through lockdown and i think karen you said it was to do with your kidneys and then you got treatment for it and you got back on your feet again but you had to spend time in hospital that stay in hospital set you back but your medication and kind of a vitamins that you're on have kind of got you back on track again and i'm so pleased to hear it did you end up getting that car that you test drove in your video if so how do you like it too bad it can't grow wings and fly can you imagine covid free how is david keeping busy and employed in your marketing endeavors do you have time to make lots of jewelry I make some nice pieces. I remember you saying this actually with stones I get from my uh, old from Arizona. So to answer your questions, yes, I wish that the car had wings because to be able to fly out of here would be amazing. But then I keep thinking, well, it's probably going to be the same with COVID everywhere. Do you ever get that? Do any of you think, oh, if I could just get on a plane and get out of here, it will all be better? And then you're like, actually, it won't because everyone's suffering the same. Yes, I'm getting that car, and um, when I have it, I will show you it. The marketing business. Business. so thank god oh my god so david and i have our own company and we do marketing when march hit like many people we had a lot of our clients putting things on hold and that was nerve-wracking because you know it, it, everything went on hold with the exception of there was one project that we've been working on for a couple of months and it's not actually going to be delivered until october so that went ahead and thank god for that i tell you what thank god for that so that got us all the way through until um, may by the time may came round, i think a lot of people realized covid wasn't going to go anywhere and a lot of the well pretty much most of the projects started again but actually the briefs changed slightly so we restarted projects that we were going to do back in march but the projects changed in in light of covid and in terms of messaging and strategy and things like that and actually again i i really um am thankful for it but actually work's got a bit better and i think it's to do with we mainly do online in fact all we do is online and because of covid that's all anyone's doing is online so it's actually it's actually been okay but you know you never know and the thing is when you do your own thing i've spoken about this before it's scary because some months you do really well some years you do really well other years you don't do so well some years pandemics hit and you just don't know how you're gonna do and uh it can be like this but yeah um thankfully we've been busy in fact we've been so busy we're working weekends at the moment but i i give thanks for that if any of you are watching this and you're thinking to yourself i quite like to write i'm gonna put my po box details below and you can just write in and don't feel don't feel scared or anything like that. It's, you know, it's a chill place around here.